Hey. So today is another day and we are going to Miami. It's going to be a three hour drive to this uh, a guitar store and the car dealership and they have like vintage cars and vintage guitars and it's I think it's called Grace Wallace Grace Wallace guitars and cars or cars and guitars anyways I'm gonna be uh, going there to check out some guitars made by some company and uh, and that's the company that's uh, you know inviting me to come to Nam so uh, yeah enjoy this uh, this footage uh, of non-stop three-hour driving now <laughs> just kidding it's just a little bit of driving footage okay When you travel with Moose and Levi on any trip, you gotta let them out to, uh, you know, to do doggy business. Levi, come here. I'm Davidas. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Davidas? Davidas, yes. Davidas, okay. Yes. Okay, Bill. Yes, yes. This guitar, or we want to make a, we'll use another guitar. We'll play this one. We'll play maybe a couple more. I think I'm going to play like three, three guitars right. today. Then I'm going to do some talking. Some, um, now, please. <laughs> yeah. See you, bro. See you later. I'll see you now. Oh, yeah. Have, have, have a safe flight. Have a safe flight. I'll see you. Please. We said that the strollers need to be up there without the dogs. Disrespectful to me and to my staff, 
I can't, I can't have it. Okay, so you're more than welcome. To go. So we'll, so that's good. Okay. Now for Okay, let's go. I was just walked up the aisle and put it around the corner to film you. Well, we try to take a video here at the. Um, I should have left it recording. Yeah, yeah, you should have left. <laughs> it's a nice place. The owner's an asshole. <laughs> he kicked us out. Um, so we're gonna try to record uh, playing guitar somewhere else. Um, yeah, didn't 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 see that coming. <laughs> Since uh, we got kicked out of the store because the owner was being, uh, I don't know, you can find your own adjective for that kind of behavior when people uh, people exude certain type of emotions. And uh, I was trying to get into a creative state, you know, to, to play these guitars, so that was a little bit difficult, but I think I, I did my best given the conditions. So we came to this kind of park and they have these artwork artworks on these walls that look really cool so I think video came out really well and uh, Mikhail gave me uh, one of the guitars to do more videos before going to Nam and I'm sure I'll I'll stop probably somewhere in uh, Arizona some kind of desert and sh shoot some cool video while playing this guitar as well this is Universum guitars and uh, I'm uh, starting a relationship with them uh, look out for more announcements uh, they're a really cool company and they're really eager to listen to my needs as a musician and a guitar player and I will be at their booth uh, and that's their booth number I don't know it yet but you know it because I put it on the screen now so now you know their booth number if you're at are at NAMM 2018 come see me check them out and you'll see me walking around in Anaheim Convention Center as well and uh, you know uh, harassing people <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, check out check out this this park, these walls. That's the whole point is where what we're trying to do is sign members, um, be, people, get people to become partners. We're really looking for um, people to become sustaining members if we can. As
Jill and I had a little bit of food, sat down and uh, had time to uh, sort of calm down from the uh, situation. I don't think I've ever been kicked out out of anywhere before. Let me think. No, yeah, I've never been kicked out out of uh, anywhere. Uh, this is the first time and it's not just uh, you know something it's it's even funnier because it's music related it's a it's a guitar store uh, so essentially what happened we walked in and the location the room where I wanted to shoot some video with uh, for for universum guitars was a little bit further down inside and we have uh, our dogs in the stroller because some places they don't want dogs to walk around so some and and their uh, their their pet partners and you bring them with you when you go places they're traveling buddies and and uh, all the fun stuff you know sort of like uh, Han Solo and Chewbacca you know Han Solo is not gonna go to canteen without Chewbacca probably actually I don't think was he there with Chewbacca or not I can't remember but essentially that's important so we have the stroller out of convenience and they said well you can't their policy is not to have the stroller to be uh, driven by the these cars that they have over there because of insurance policy and uh, it might touch and scratch and that I understand that uh, but they also had you know th them kids running around with with plastic airplanes and you know women with purses and men with purses hashtag feminism hashtag man purse and uh, you know anything could scratch it so we just we're not looking to hang out by those so I said okay Jill leave the stroller here and then bring the dogs and you'll be able to take video because Jill was gonna take video hopefully you're following the story here and uh, okay well, we're gonna do that so what Jill did because it's really difficult to take video because dogs want to run around anyways and they have these harnesses that you would and on the leashes that even scratch more on on the of the, uh, the bottoms of these high-end cars so she she put them in the stroller and she went around by the wall to the to the room where where I was already tuning guitars already uh, getting plugging into an amp to you know for, for the video to actually you know try out these guitars and, and and try to play something try to come up with something creative to play and then the owner storms in and she's like I can't remember what he said but exactly but it's like we have a policy you can't do that I can already see from your face he's talking to Jill my fiance it's I want her out of here I want her out of here now <laughs> I'm like oh, excuse me you're not gonna you're not gonna talk to my fiance like that oh oh yeah oh yeah and then he walks up to me and starts yelling at me you listen listen you you I go I go what kind of customer service is that aren't you supposed to de-escalate the uh, situation or confrontation we read our Google reviews we have just read all Google reviews okay we have all good reviews there and I said well I don't need to read reviews look I'm here in person and just look what kind of experience I'm having well fine you know it's because you're a jerk you know and and I said and you gotta leave both of you now leave right now I don't want you in here I said okay then we're leaving and listen listen I go look are you kicking us out yeah well I go then conversation is over and <laughs> So in the nutshell, basically, I hopefully I delivered a... I'm not trained in the arts of drama and acting. So this is the best representation you're gonna get because the camera was off and I should have just kept, kept it rolling. Man, this uh, vlog life is intense. <laughs> I was just looking to do some music of playing guitars and... Uh, but yeah, and I guess, you know, people treat you like that because he also th threw out the prices of the cars he's like well this car is two million and this car is a million and a half you know so it's just it just pisses me off how you get treated differently because you don't come from elite or money or or fame 
and there are plenty of other famous people that hang out there that I've seen pictures of the owner shake hands with those you know other famous people and so clearly if you have this monetary status background they try to suck up to you to forward their own agenda of whatever elite or prestige they're trying to achieve themselves and I'm just uh, hey I'm just a guitar player I'm uh, taking some video for for this these guitars and he could care less so it just uh, I guess it's th that's what pisses me off the most it really it's not about me it's about anybody especially if you have a facility like that set up for people to come in and explore and to enjoy the cars and guitars and, and, and seem like it's a pretty busy strip in Miami for a lot of people you know to come over uh, from from I don't know maybe even different parts of the country maybe different parts of the world you think they have a better mentality towards uh, customer service they could have said well you know unfortunately our policy you know and I, I really apologize but you know I, I'd love to but no the lady that worked there she's like let, let me talk to the owner and then the owner when he was yelling amongst other things that he was yelling at me he said one of my employees told me told me you were a jerk you know so why would an employee come whenever there's a there's a potential potential uh, misunderstanding why would she approach the owner the ultimate decision maker by representing the situation that somebody is a jerk aren't you supposed to de-escalate and make experience good for everybody you know so just you know some questions to throw out there really bad experience never been kicked out of out of anywhere never been kicked out of the uh, music store and this is like supposed to be like you know prestigious you think the uh, uh, the prestige status would include exclusive treatment of customers as well but probably that's only the case if you can afford to be a customer if you can afford to buy that two million dollar car or that million and that in a half dollar car then they would talk to you nicely and treat you with respect and dignity other than that you know get out of here I want you out of here right now I don't care you know S sorry to paint it in such a such a dark colors <laughs> didn't expect that at all I was really gonna make a really nice video of this cool place with cool guitars cool cars um, there's gonna be a separate video focused on just the music and we did leave and and the Universum representative what do we do now what do we I'm so sorry I'm so sorry about that what do we do and you know he really nice guy uh, obviously he doesn't want to get in the on the bad terms with the owner because that's one of the few places where he has Universum guitars uh, hanging on the stand uh, represented in the United States um, so I totally understand that and he was very apologetic especially when he had nothing to do with any of what happened but we went out to this other sort of art display that you're gonna see in another video a little bit in this video probably you saw already as well and we shot some uh, some some of me playing guitars there and uh, Michael, also known as Mikhail, he gave me one of the guitars to bring me with me to NAMM. So I'm going to be taking more video with this uh, particular Universum guitar as well. And I'll have more time to actually focus and explore the guitar and possible sounds that I could come up with it. Because uh, uh, I'm, I'm not very creative when I have heightened levels of stress like that. And uh, I was just going in with good intents to come up with something pleasant to listen to creative sort of relaxing artistic place you think they have nice guitars they have these vintage cars I love vintage cars I like vintage guitars and similar design of vintage cars and wow it just <laughs> anyways leave a like if you enjoyed the video all the links are in the description thanks for watching bye